Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Champagne. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and become a member of the family. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're a member of my channel, thank you so much for continuing on this journey with me. I am on the road to hitting 2,000 subscribers. I'm hoping to hit that milestone by the end of 2023. So if you enjoy my channel and you have not yet subscribed, please think about doing so. Um, today we are going to be doing a mosh pod of a little bit of everything. I am going to stuff my 2023 goals as well as my cash envelopes for the week, um, savings challenges, and I'm going to put money from the randomizer in October and my mini savings challenges that I completed into their designated areas. So kind of a mixture. I'm just trying to get caught back up um, from being sick the other week. And so this video is kind of going to be all over the place, but I wanted to make sure that you, I showed where I am with everything. So I am not pulling money um, to stuff for savings challenges right now for the debt that I'm focused on. Um, the one debt that I fo I was uh, working on for 2023, I've completed that and I've started a, another debt that I was going to um, work on next year, but we're starting it early. We're going to keep it rolling. So I just wanted to show you where we are and then color in some of our numbers from our 10K tracker. So last week I paid $272.92. 249 of that went to our principal. $23.92 went to the interest. This week on the second, I paid $412.25, uh, which $403 went to the principal and $9.25 went to interest. So I will be able to color in three numbers today um, and that leaves our balance at six thousand eight hundred and sixteen dollars my goal is to get this to at least five thousand by the end of the year so going into next year we will have five thousand left of this last student loan so moving into our tracker i put little flags to um, remind me which numbers we're going to be coloring in so we're going to actually color in 249 237 and 166 so I hope you guys are having an amazing weekend. I am filming this in the middle of the night, Saturday night, so that I can upload it um, for Sunday morning. I know if I do not record right now, I will not get to recording it. So thankfully we're going back an hour and I will gain an hour of my time to be able to sleep a little bit more <laughs> in the morning. So there's that. And then 237, so I'm going to take this here. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Um, it's already going to be Sunday. Weekends go by way too fast, and I feel like the weeks don't go by fast enough. But this year is definitely flying by. It is about time to start Christmas shopping. I cannot believe it is already here. I have not started any Christmas shopping yet, so I definitely need to get on that because I am one that waits the last minute um, to start shopping. So I'm going to try and not do that this year. So let me see. I think we'll go with this color. Um, no, I think I want to do this color. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I am going to start getting together my challenges for next year. Uh, I do yearly challenges because there are some things, basically my goals that I want to meet. And for those yearly challenges, it kind of maps out how much I need to pay or budget for or how much I know I need to make to be able to hit those goals, which is what I did this year. Um, and I am definitely on track to meet all my goals for this year, which I am excited about. So that is our um, 10K challenge. Once we are completed with this, we should have our, our I, sorry, we are a team here, so <laughs> I say we, um, but I should have this next debt paid off, which I am excited about. So we're gonna move that over. We're gonna go into our Be Positive binder. Um, in this binder is my goals for my three to six month emergency fund. We've already completed the um, 1000 emergency fund challenge or challenges so we've met that goal so i am actually going to stuff that as well 
Um, so I just have little sticky notes because I had a couple things that I needed to stuff. So this is $304. This is what we're going to be stuffing into our 2023 goal. So we have 100, 50, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 300, and 4. So 304, majority of it is going to go into our 3-6 to six monthly emergency fund for our one month's rent because we, like I said, we have already met our goal of $1,000. So today we're going to mark off, let me find my pen. So we're going to mark off 86. Again, we're doing for two weeks because of last week I did not film. Um, so we're doing 86 and we're doing 88, which is going to give us 174. So we're going to take 150, 70, and then this four. So we're just going to put this to the side and we're going to keep going. Um, so, of course, we need to stuff $30 for the last month or the last uh, part of October. So we're going to take that 30 and we're going to combine it with this because this will all go towards the same goal. So let's mark that off. Uh, this 1530 year long challenge is from Renee over at Reinventing Renee here on YouTube and Budget Nerd Co. on Etsy. I really like this challenge. I'm going to do it next year as well. It's very basic. You put $15 in on the 15th and 30 on the 30th, or you can combine it if you want to budget it and just put $45 in for the whole month. You can start this any month. It does not have to start in January, but being that January is right around the corner, definitely want to head over and get this so you can start yours as well. Um, next is going to be the Friday challenge. And so with this challenge, um, I started it for the 1K or my 1000 emergency fund. But because that's completed, I'm going to continue so I can finish this challenge. But it's just going to go towards um, my brain's not working. My three to six month, uh, which is one month rent that we're working on. So we're going to knock out the 27 and the three. So that's going to be this 30 right here. So here's 30. And let's see. Okay, I know what that's for. So let's add this here. And hopefully, well, we definitely can color in another house. So we're going to include it here. But let's see. So in total, we're putting 150, 70, 90, 210, 220, 230, 230, 234. So $234 with this here, and then we'll be able to color a few houses. So here's my tracker. Let me get my marker. So we have a 100, 20, 40, so we have 200, so that's two houses that we can color in. When I made this tracker, my rent was 3000 It has gone up since then. Um, so I'm using my randomizer and any extra money going towards my rent, or my 3 to 6 month emergency fund, and I'm putting it directly into the envelope that I have. So we have 20 35 37 39 and $40 left over to go towards the next 100. So we're gonna put that all back in here. Put this in here. And then we're gonna go into our Christmas savings. This is the 2K challenge. So again, we're doing two weeks. So we're gonna do this 25 here. We're gonna finish this 50, so. We'll be able to mark that off and then we're actually going to put $45 into this one. So that gives us this 70 here that we're going to add. Okay. So for Christmas saved up, we have 1,000, 1,500, 50, 70, 90, 1,610, 615. So $1,615. Um, I'm going to be doing other challenges to make up this $200 because I need to finish this bonus card to get the uh, full $2,000. So I have savings challenges that I'm going to do for those ones. So that's that. If you're new here, you will see that I am stuffing prop money because that's 
uh, that's because the actual cash goes into my ally account um, and so it earns interest every month um, and I don't want a bunch of money sitting around my house so that is it for the three for our savings binder so I'm just going to put this to the side and then I'm going to take out the money from my randomizer from last month that I completed I just have everything written down here on a piece of paper so here's the thousand dollars that's going to go into the emergency fund and then we have 20 40 60 81 10 20 25 27 29 31 33 35 36 let me just move this back, you guys. Okay. So we're going to start with this binder. This binder holds my three to six month, or my, my bills. So this is my rent envelope. So we're going to add $37 from the randomizer into this envelope. So 35 37 so aside from the money that is in our B positive binder, this hopefully this will add up to the rest of the money that I'll need to make a full month's rent. Um, so we have 100, 20, 35, 40, 142, 44. So $144 to the side. So that would give us, if we complete that challenge and we don't fail anything else here, that will give us 3,000 and then plus this. Um, these bills are already two months ahead, so we're not saving anything here, but we're going to go back to our emergency fund here, and we're going to put this $1,000 placeholder, so that tells me that I have $1,000 in my emergency fund on my Ally account. Um, these are for my weekly cash stuffing, so we don't need to do anything there. So that's that, and then let's see. I'm just going to go through here and stuff things from... Uh, last month's randomizer so new phone so we're going to go here to wealth and we're going to put four dollars in here so two and four this is for my timeshare my maintenance fees uh, the actual timeshare is paid off but i have my maintenance fees due every two years so 2025 they'll be due so you'll see some um you'll see this a part of my 2024 goals so we have 50 70 85 87 89 91 93 I believe so that will go in there nothing there nope so that's it for that binder and some binders I'm going to go back and forth just because I just don't have everything uh, written down in order but I just wanted to make sure like I said I wanted to get through this video um, so car registration, car registration is getting 20. So we're going to add 20 from the randomizer. So we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 75, 77, and 79. So $179. Um, let's see. Moving is getting 34. So we have a 20... 30, 32, and 34. So in moving, we now have 100, 200, 20, 30, 45, 47, 49, 51, 53. So 253. Um, I do, every year, we don't know if we're going to move or not. So I just want to make sure I have money saved up. So if we do move, we have that money and I don't have to worry about it. Um, P.O. Box, I'm going to take this money here. This is from uh, Fall Savings. This is something that we completed for our mini Monday, our mini challenges. So we have 5, 10, 15, 25, 30, 5, 36, 37, and 38. So this is not due yet. So I'm going to put 5, 10, 15. Actually, I think I'm going to put, I'm going to put majority into Amazon because this is going to be coming due. So let's see. I 38, I'm going to put 5, 10, 15, 20 towards Amazon. Actually, I'm going to put 30 towards Amazon. 
and then we'll put eight dollars towards my P.O. box. So we have 50, 70, 80, 5, 90, 5, 100, 5, 10, 15, 2, 15, 17, 19, 20. So this one is almost fully funded. And then we'll go back here to our my P.O. box and then we'll put this money in. So towards our P.O. box, we have 25, 35, 37, 39, 40, 142, 43, and 44. I just paid this, so we're just saving up for uh, when it comes back around in six or seven months. So that's that. So we are done with that one. So we're just going to put that to the side. And then we have, let's see here. I just want to make sure we got everything. So we have 20, 40, 50, 1. So I put an extra dollar somewhere. Or no. Let's see here. I know I made a mistake somewhere, but that's okay. It's fine. Okay. So going into here, let's see. Back here, car maintenance. Car maintenance is going to get 41. So 20, 41. So we'll add that here. Okay. So in car maintenance, we now have 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 40, 60, 70, 81, and 82. So $82, 482 in car maintenance. And I've got to figure out where this 10 went. Hmm. I think it went into car registration, but I'll watch the replay and figure out where this was supposed to go. So I will put that here, which no biggie. I'll catch it in the replay and it'll make it to its proper home. Okay, so let's do our cash envelopes and then our savings challenges. So we are going to just be putting in 50, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 5, 85. So did I say that was 185? Something like that. Okay. So let's empty our cash envelopes. So in gas from last week, we have 15. I'm going to put that to the side because that's going to go towards savings challenges. Food, I was running around too much, so I didn't even have a chance to stop for anything. So we still have our 25. Uh, beauty rolls over, but I did get my hair done, so I took out $200 from here, uh, which will be going to, back to the bank. And then spending, I did not stop and get anything last week for spending so i still have my 15. so going into savings challenges from our cash envelopes we have 20 30 45 55. so i'm just going to put this to the side while we stuff our envelopes so gas always gets 100 so we'll be putting in 100. food i always give myself 25 dollars a week that's if i want to stop and get coffee or a small bite to eat with friends or coworkers. Um, beauty always gets 25 a week. So we'll put 25. Beauty covers uh, my hair appointment every three months, as well as any and all uh, beauty supplies and personal hygiene. So in beauty, we have 20, 40, 60, 75. And then spending, I give myself $15 in spending every week. I am on a low spend year and I want to make sure if I need something small, I have money so I don't have to swipe my card. Um, so I give myself 15 just to have some cash. And then of course, this is money going back to the bank. So we're finished with our cash envelopes, but I want to put, no, not in this one. Let's go to this one. I do want to stuff $10 into family fun. This is anything that has to do with family, whether it's barbecues or going to SeaWorld or going somewhere as a family. Uh, it just comes out of here. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. Uh, next is birthdays. We're going to put $10 into birthdays. 
And birthdays now has 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, and 15. 115 dollars i do have a few birthdays coming up in december so that money will get spent then uh medical is fully funded clothes and car maintenance already got its money so that is that so we're going to move this to the side and then we're going to bring in these binders here so we have again 20 30 40 5 wait 20 30 40 5 55 so 55 dollars uh we do have some of these envelopes that have money let me get my scratcher tool somewhere here it is um from our randomizer game for last month so we're going to use that money to stuff into our challenges so for this one we have uh, for new phone, the randomizer gave us $10, $12, $14. So we're going to take two stickers from here. This is our Let's Pumpkin Spice Things Up. So let's see, $14. Let's see, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so 8 and 6. So we can do, let's do this yummy looking cupcake. Put that here next to the cinnamon and then some books I'm going to be a little thirsty so hmm nope we're going to have to do some books which is okay alright so that's 14 this is going towards a new phone so we're going to add this to here so we have 10, 15, 17, 19, 21, and 22. Going towards a new phone. Next is going to be uh, a new car. So we're just going to pull this out. We have $5 from the randomizer. So let's color in one circle. We did finish one. So we're just continuing on. I'm going to put that here. So we have $5 in the new card. Next is our mini millionaires, our my mini millionaires. And so with the randomizer, I do believe we'll be able to finish this one and then start another one. So we have 20, 30, 40, 45, 47, 49, 50, and 51. So let's scratch these off here. So we have 10, hopefully you guys can see, so that's 18, I'll have to bring that closer, I can't see it, let's see, so that's 9, so 18, 28, 29, 30, is that 36, let me just make sure. So we have a 10, a 9, a 9, and an 8. Yes, 36. Okay. So we're going to take 36 from here. So 20, 35, and 36. We're going to add it here. And we should have $100 from this savings challenge. So we have 50, 70, 85, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Well, we should, but I am missing a dollar, which is no problem. There it is right there. So 50, 70, 85, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So this will actually get divided up between my 10 nieces and nephews. So we're going to put this to the side and then we'll put it in their binder that I do have out to get stuffed another time. So next we're going to start on our mischief managed budgets, our insect. So we have 10, 12, 14. So we can actually color in this guy right here. That's 14. So let me just get a... So we'll do this one right here. Since it's a 14. 
Uh, this will be worth $100. This is actually a scratcher on her channel, on her Etsy shop. Um, but I asked to get some challenges without the scratchers. Um, so the numbers are probably mixed around. If not, don't look too closely to them. Um, <laughs> so it doesn't, you know, affect your game. Let's see. So that's it for now in this one. Let's see if the randomizer gave us anything in this one, which it should have. Yes, it did. So we have 20, 30, 2, 33. So $33 that can go into our self-care binder. Let's see. Can we finish this one? Yes. So let's finish our beaver challenge. A beaver walked into the bar. So this last beaver is worth $12. So let's get him off. There we go. Don't want to lose his beer. And we'll put him right here. He's just a little guy down here. And he's trying to talk to him. So we should have $100 in this challenge now. And this is from Liz and Les. She has some of the cutest sticker challenges out there. So let's see here. So we have 50, 70, 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 112, 114, and 115. So there, it's a $100 challenge, but there were extra beers right here worth $5 each. So of course I had to give them their beers because they were thirsty beavers. Um, so we have $115 that is going to go towards concert tickets of, you know, whenever they come out. Um, or whenever there's a concert that comes up, I want to make sure I have money aside so I can go watch it. So I am going to switch this out for another, uh, challenge of Liz's, but I'll do that once I figure out which one I want to do. Um, so we still have $21. So let's scratch one of these. This is from Tracy over at Golden Girl Budgets. And this one is for any restaurant that I want to go eat at. So... Let's see, so that's 14, and I don't think I'm gonna have change. So, let's see. Mm hmm. Using calculator, I would need six back. Nope, okay. So we're gonna have to scratch again, which is fine. We have $21, so 14, so 24. So we're gonna have an IOU of three, which is okay, that's fine. Okay, so we'll put that in here, and then I will need to get an IOU, or actually, let's see, 24, so we need $3. I do have money for my cash envelope, so we're just going to take a two, or no, we'll take the two ones, and then just put in a five. Then we're even, and we don't have an IOU. Perfect, works out, I love it. Um, do I want to do another one in here? Let's do some theater tickets. I know there's some plays coming out that I want to go see. So this is the alphabet challenge. This is in my Etsy shop. This video is going to be a little long. I do apologize, you guys. I'm just trying to I'm trying to go fast as I can. But um, so D D is four. We're going to put four, but let's see if we have, oh, of course not. Okay. So let's draw another one then. So we have four, four and 19. So that's 23. So let's see here. Let's take this out. So we have four and 19. So 23, we can put a two back and put 25 in. So we have 120, 40, 50, 65, 75, 77. So $177 going towards some theater tickets. We're gonna put these here in this bag. This is just the ones that I've already pulled. Okay. 
So that's it for that binder. And I do want to do my Honey Money. So we're on our threes. So let's see here. So each one is worth $3. So let's do... Let's do... We'll do six. So we'll do two. So six dollars. So now in our threes, we have 10, 15, 20, 1, 22, 23, and 24. So that's our honey money from Renee. Let's see here. This is my vacation binder. Like I said, you guys, we're all over the place, so I apologize. So we have $52. This is from the randomizer game. So we're going to put that in food. So towards food, we have 50, 100, 5, 7, 9, 11. Right? Right. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I'm getting tired. Okay. Then let's see. Do we want to add anything in here? Yes, Thanksgiving. So I did have this in my um, mini savings challenges for my mini Mondays, but I took it out because the numbers were bigger and I need to be able to stuff more money in here. So we have 22, 23. Let me see. We have 25. So let's do a 15. Um, so we're going to do 15. We'll put the 20 in, and is there an 8? No. Let's see. So we can do this 7. So we'll put that in here, and then I know where I can put that 1. So we have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Going towards Thanksgiving dinner. And then we're going to go back into Honey Money. And I do have a challenge that can take that. So this is some leftover. Oh, I lied. I can't take the one because there's no one. So I guess I'm just going to take this one. So I'm going to replace this one for this one. And I'm going to color in. Ah, there's no two. Um, so I'm just going to color in these two ones. And that will be these two here. And let's see, Mini Millionaires. So I'm not going to divide the money yet, but I am going to put the money in here. Um, the only reason why I'm not dividing it into their fold, into their envelopes yet is because I need to get 10s. So I'm going to switch this out for 10 so that I can divide it into their envelopes accordingly. So... I, but that is it you guys again if you made it this far i truly appreciate you guys i know this was a long video it's all over the place <sighs> but we are caught up finally and yeah that's it you guys i will see you on monday for mini mondays uh, for my mini savings challenges thank you so much for being here i truly appreciate each and every one of you especially for dealing with this video i'm um, sorry that the energy seems low again it is super late but yeah we did it i hope you guys have a good week and i will see you next video bye